So we bought this house in January, mm -hmm. and we've been a little overwhelmed with all of the projects. Bit off a little bit more than we can chew. This house to me means the next step. We've been dating for a couple of years now, and... Next step? Yes. So here's a kitchen. I would like all new cabinets. I'd like to put an island in the center. I'm a first time home buyer. This is my first like, hey, this is official. I'm staying here for at least as long as I can. You know, kind of like big girl step. Growing up, I moved around a little bit, mainly for my dad's job. He was a professional baseball player. So we moved from Houston, San Diego, Houston. So it was nice to finally have a place to call home. My dad passed away when I was 13. But I think he would be really proud that I was able to buy a house. I think he would have been proud that I tried to tackle it on my own. We spent a lot of money on this house. We were thinking, like, do it ourselves. You know, we'll save a little bit of money. I feel like I'm handy, and I would be able to do this. You know, we'll be able to finish all the things that we need to to be able to live in it. And we thought the floor was going to be the easiest part. Yeah. So we decided to take out the tile. It looks like there's, like, multiple layers of tile. We slowly learned that it was getting bigger than what we wanted to even handle. We called Jasmine because we wanted an expert. We were overwhelmed. There's just a lot of decision making that neither one of us were really prepared to make. Kendall and Broderick wrecked their house. They were so excited. Now I feel like they're a little bit regretful. Hello. hello Hi, hello. guys. Welcome. Thanks. Welcome to our mess of a house. Oh, wow. This is a construction site. I'm glad we're not living here currently. Yeah. <laughs> This is more than I expected. Looks worse in person. <laughs> How long ago did you buy the house? Four months ago. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I know, it's my first house, so I'm excited. Yeah, that's huge. It didn't look like this when you bought it, though, right? No, no, no. Tell me about the floors. So when we purchased the house, the floors didn't match, and I want to take out this tile because I hated the tile. Yeah. So when we pulled up all of the tile, we could see that there was other tile that had been below this, but we were expecting to see concrete because, you know, I thought it was on a concrete slab. So when we're trying to dig, we found this wood, and we're like, well, how deep does this go? And am I going to have to replace the whole, like, bottom half of my house? This is actually your subfloor. Yes. And luckily, you didn't go all the way through because then you would have you would have a giant hole in your floor. Yes. They went for it. They took up a really big floor with no idea how to put the house back together. Then after we got to this point, where the like, dream idea would be to like have a space that kind of opens to the living room. We wanted to see what walls were load bearing. So I went up in the attic and checked to see if I saw any big beams. Didn't see any. So we're like, all right, let's have some fun and knock out some drywall. We realized there was electrical wires and so we stopped. I like the idea of looking for beams, but that's not how you do it. Did you turn the power off to this area? No, it didn't cross my mind. You have a broken plug that's live. It's really dangerous. If you had hit that, you would have been... Electrocuted? Mm-hmm. That's really scary. Your kitchen did not look like this when you bought the house, right? No, it didn't. What did you do? You ripped it apart, or...? Yeah. We weren't really thinking and more so ready to have fun with demo. <laughs> OK. When it comes to DIY rentals, it's better to stick with projects that you know you can achieve. And for Kendall and Broderick, they should have done that. They shouldn't have taken on this whole renovation. It was too much. When you're taking a kitchen apart, I mean, this is a gas range, right? Yeah. So you guys turned the gas off before you started doing any of this, right? I look at him because I definitely didn't do it. That would have been, like, the first thing to do. Yeah, it's on right now. So you've been moving your range around, sledgehammering things with an open gas line in your kitchen. Oh my gosh. I'm actually gonna turn this off right now. To think that we could have messed it up even worse. Than what it looks like now. Yeah. My goals of building our own home is becoming more and more overwhelming. Today is our first day of construction at Kendall and Broderick's house and Kendall and Broderick have given their notice at their rental apartment, and they are planning to move out in six weeks. Every extra week that we take on this project, their rent money comes out of our budget. There's a lot to get done. There is not a lot of time to do it, and I have to get started. Ooh, trash cans, nice. Appliance is out, trash cans in. I like it. Before we start knocking stuff out. Yeah. The gas line comes out oh, of gotcha. this cabinet. Okay. 
because the new range will go here, I think that we should stub up a gas line in the proper location. We got to be careful when we demo this. We'll take it, maybe the wall out first, and then bust this panel out here so we don't accidentally hit that gas line. The other thing that was kind of a big red flag for yeah. me was under this sink. You think this happened when they were just doing the demo, or you think no, all this water? this is old water That's damage. That's what I thought, yeah. My concern is just that the water damage, it's gone through this cabinet, and it's Into possible. Into the subfloor. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we should figure that out before we get too far. It doesn't look too bad from this point. Mm -mm. I think we're going to be fine. All right, well, we'll get this disconnected, and then we yeah. can get this whole kitchen out of here. Looks like you were playing around over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, this wasn't me. They ripped these floors up themselves, and they saw wood. And they're like, wait, we don't understand. We thought the house was on a slab. So this is the, you know, the subfloor. Yeah. It's still solid. Yeah, it is. At some point, somebody came in here, put a bunch of cement mortar down, laid tile on top of a wooden subfloor. What do we have to do to put new floors in? We're going to get some guys in here, and we're just going to scrape gently and hope that we don't ruin the subfloor below. So we do have to take this whole layer of mortar, concrete, oh, yeah. whatever you want to call this, up. Yeah. All right, so in here, family room. So here's what I want to do. So in this room, we'll do new luxury vinyl floors. I think we should redo this fireplace and make it the focal point of the room. I want to make it modern and beachy. Something Kendall and Broderick would have actually picked out on their own. I want to take advantage of the natural light coming through the windows. And as far as the furniture goes, I think we should kind of switch things up a bit and make sure that this is really set up for entertaining. OK, so in here, yeah. the way that we're going to make this feel like an actual really nice bedroom is to add layers. The way we're going to start that is by adding new luxury vinyl floors throughout, a new light, and then I definitely want to layer in the furniture. So a nice big bed, nightstands, and I think the thing that's really going to set this room apart, texture on this wall. And the rest of this is pretty much just cosmetic. So we have made a lot of progress. We've been able to demo out this entire closet, and I just have to figure out what exactly we're going to put in here to make this a really functional entry area for Kendall and Broderick. Our fireplace, the hearth is completely gone, which I'm excited about. And I'm saving this as my backdrop for my new fireplace. We did our rough plumbing. We did our rough electrical. So you can see where the gas line used to be here. It's now stubbed out of the wall. It's in the proper location. We can start building this house back up. Hi, Brian. Hey. Brian is one of my best carpenters. We've worked together for a million years, and he's coming to help me build a banquette so that Kendall and Broderick can have a proper dining area, which they've never had before. What I want to do today is just like a built-in banquette bench. If we did this dining area like out in the middle of the room, it'd be fine. We do have enough room, but by putting it over this way a little bit, it's going to make this whole room feel way bigger. Oh, absolutely. And I think it, bringing it this way also gives you more access in and out of the slider. Yeah. OK, so the other thing is this wainscoting look, we can do that on the front of the bench, right? Absolutely. Oh, sweet. This wainscoting will not only complement the banquette, but it'll make the dining room and the kitchen feel like a more cohesive space, especially with the new island. This is like taking it to that next level. These are the things they just wouldn't have had time to get to. Ooh, that looks good already. I love it. Perfect. Beautiful. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. hello. How's it going? Good. It's going great. Yeah? We're Thanks. ready. Oh, my gosh. OK, so it's been six weeks. Yes. And that was my timeline to get you guys out of your condo so you don't have to pay rent and a mortgage at the same time, right? Yes, very excited for that, too. Yes. <laughs> Are you ready to see inside? Yes, I'm so ready. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> OK, I think you should go in, just the two of you, and then I'll come find you in a bit. All okay. right? Go ahead. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe how pretty it is. Oh my god, I'm like 
can't believe this is so Yeah, nice. I'm, I'm in shock. It's so nice. It's bright and exactly how you want it. Wow. I'm like shaking. This is very, very nice. It's beautiful. Look at the fireplace. This is fantastic. It just looks so bright. Yes. It's not so dark and it's so open. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this. It's like my dream kitchen. <laughs> yeah, it really is. This is the prettiest island I think I've ever seen. And it's blue. blue just like you wanted. <laughs> oh my God. Do you have anything to say? No, I've been like shocked. That? The countertops are just stunning. It's the same thing. It's a nice big open sink. It doesn't have a divider in the middle. <sighs> wow. That's really cool. Looks like an old stadium scene. Yeah. Hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> what do you think? Better than I could have ever imagined it being. It's so yes. pretty. I'm, over I'm very overwhelmed. Anything I could have pictured, this is even better. The fireplace is amazing. Everything is so pretty. <laughs> Everything's perfect. This is also Aww. fantastic. Oh my gosh, yes. We should talk about this entry area, right? Yes. So before, there was a closet here with somebody else's clothes in it. Yes. yes. And this is the same size as what that closet was, but now I feel like you're actually going to use it. Yeah, yeah. It's so functional. We got to go to the stadium in San Diego. Yeah. And kind of explore. And that's kind of where this idea came like a from. locker room. That makes sense. <laughs> the floors. So we decided to take out the tile. It looks like there's like multiple layers of tile. They're so pretty. I was like, yeah, I think they tie in so nicely with all the colors. They're so stunning. Yeah, I'm just shocked. It was a, a construction zone and now it's a finished it's a home. Yeah. These floors are gonna last you a long time. They're luxury vinyl, but they look like, really feel like wood, but you're not gonna mess them up. So, you know, your dog can come in here and run around. They're not going to scratch like a wood floor would. It's life proof. <laughs> like, I never thought I'd have a kitchen that looked this beautiful and was so nice. When you guys handed this house over to me, there was a wall here still, but it was just a framed wall. And so we tried to figure out a way to make this still be really open, but have a little bit more counter space, a little bit more storage, and like a wow factor. Yeah. I love this. This is really cool. I love the table and how you built in the bench so it actually feels like a dining room area. It's just such a nice table. The table, Broderick, was is this what you did? Yes. Yeah, oh my did. gosh! So Broderick made the base for the table and show off his skills a little bit, which I was impressed. But yeah, we welded in the backyard. That's pretty cool. Yeah. This is a nice table. You did a really good job. Thank you. <laughs> 